Hello, hello, welcome. Good evening. Thank you very much for being in class, guys. How are you today? Ready? Ready, ready or not ready? Yes, ready, teacher. Okay, yeah. excellent. Very good. Let me see. Carlos, welcome. Jose, welcome. Norma. Norma is a listener. Mailing. Thank you. Sandrita. Ready for the action? Okay, guys. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate the opportunity. We are going to start with a very nice video. This video, it's going to tell us a little bit about pronunciation. We're going to watch this video. The name of the video is Three Tips for Sounding Like a Native Speaker. Right? So pay attention, please. This video is interesting. Believe it or not, it's very interesting. So let's see. Hi again, welcome back to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. Today, I'm going to help you sound a little bit more like a native speaker, hopefully. Students ask me all the time, how can I sound like a native speaker? Well, before I say anything, let me just tell you that it will take time and a lot, a lot, a lot of practice. The best way is to live in an English speaking country, of course, but of course you can do it anywhere, but it takes time, be patient, practice, practice, practice. So we're looking at pronunciation. Let me start with this word, pronunciation, not pronunciation. It is not a pronoun. A pronoun is I, me, my, mine. Pronunciation is how we speak English. So I'm gonna give you three tips that will help you sound a little bit more like a native speaker. We're gonna start with connecting words. Now think about your own language. Whether you're speaking Spanish or Polish or Chinese, you do this in your language as well. When you're speaking fast, you're taking words and you're squeezing them together, you're connecting them. So one word flows into the next word. That's what we're gonna do here. You can connect consonants to consonants. What this means, when a word ends in a consonant, a consonant is B, C, D, F, G, etc. A vowel is A, E, I, O, U. When a word ends in a consonant and the next word begins with the same consonant, drop the first one. So for example, we do not say black coffee. We don't say k, k. There's only one K, black coffee. Black coffee, okay? Practice that. Now, T and D, these are two different consonants, but according to the tongue and the mouth, they almost sound the same. So we do the same thing. What do you do? What do you do? But again, another thing you have to keep in mind is when we say it fast, we also don't really say E. We say like a sort of like a small, we don't say, oh, sorry. We say a sort of a small E. What do you do? Practice that. What do you do? Strange, huh? No T. What do you do? What do you do? That's how a native speaker would say it naturally. Now, another thing is when a word ends in a consonant and the next word begins in a vowel, make sure you roll it in, right? Roll the consonant into the vowel and separate the syllable before. A syllable is the vowel sounds in a word, okay? So nobody, like native speakers, don't say not at all. Oh no, not at all. We don't say it like that. We say, oh, not at all, not at all, not at all. No. Okay? The T, so this becomes na, ta, tall. Na, ta, tall. Not at all. Okay? Say it quickly. Blend the letters one into the next. But again, practice it. Now, for those of you who are going to be taking a test, an English test that involves listening, uh, IELTS, TOEFL, TOEIC, 
If you're in Canada, you may be doing a cell PIP test, okay? This is going to help you on the listening section as well. This is one of the things they're testing. Somebody on the recording will say, not at all. And you need to cut, not at all. You need to understand the separate words. That's part of the test. So practice speaking it, practice listening to it. Another thing we do is we squeeze some words, okay? Certain words, we don't say all the syllables. We don't even say all the letters. I've heard many students say, comfortable, comfortable. comfortable. But comfortable. native speakers, we don't say this part. We don't say the or. We say, comf, ta, bull. And notice the last sound is like a small, mm -hmm. tiny, tiny little I in there. Comfortable. Comfortable. Com comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. Comfortable. Don't pronounce the or. Comfortable. No, nope, don't do that. Another word like that. Interesting. Interesting. In. Tre. Sting. Find out what the syllables are. So in. Ter. Sorry. In. Ter. Res. Ting. If you want to emphasize something, we have a word called enunciate. If someone wants to emphasize a word, then they enunciate each syllable. They say each syllable separately. Oh, that is very interesting, right? Because I want you to understand that the word is interesting. But in everyday speech, interesting. 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 I have four syllable syllables. When I actually say it naturally, it becomes three syllables and the T and the R become like a CH, but that's, we'll talk about that next. Another word. Every. I don't say every. I don't say this letter E. Every. Every. Everyone. Everything. Every. Okay. Last, squeeze letters. Now, this is particularly true for a few letters. When we have TR, TR together usually sounds like CHR. So we don't say country. We say country. Country. It's like a tree that grows, but even a tree is tree. Tree. Okay? If you go out with your friends, you go out for a Treat. Okay. Another one is DR. DR also doesn't really sound like DR. We don't say hundred. Okay. It's too difficult for the tongue to make the quick switch. So this sounds like JR. Hundred. 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 Now, this goes with the first idea when you're connecting words, but when you're connecting words and you have a D and a Y together, it becomes like a J sound. Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you do it? Did you do what I asked? Did you? Did you? Okay, so we say it like that. Very quick, very mixed, and you have to practice these because, it, because it's more a habit than anything else. Native speakers, we don't think about doing these things. It just rolls off the tongue just like that, okay? But also, make sure you do a lot of listening. Listening, Listen to TV sitcoms, listen to the radio, lots of things on the internet. Uh, TED.com, for example, you can hear native speakers all the time. And what you can do is you can try to do dictation. You try to listen and cut the words you hear into the actual separate words that they are. Listen to individual words and try to find their syllables, okay? But again, it's just practice, practice, practice. And of course, at ingvid.com, if you go to the search box at the top of the site, we have a few more, we actually we have quite a few more pronunciation lessons. You can go there and become a more natural speaker of English. Okay, uh, thank you for joining me today. Please go to the YouTube uh, channel, my channel on YouTube, subscribe, and I will see you again really soon. Bye. Okay, take the quick. We have a fact. It's a role. So we don't say country.
Okay, pay attention. Three, three tips, okay? To sound like a native speaker. So we have connect words, connect words. How do we connect the words? This happens when the first words or the first word ends in C, C, C sound. And the other consonant has the same, the same sound, black coffee, consonant and consonant, okay? Um, let me see. In this one, we eliminate the first consonant. We don't say black coffee because if we say black coffee we stop mm -hmm. and just and you sound choppy black coffee i like to drink <laughs> like, uh -huh. a robot. like a robot very good <laughs> so they say or he says that we need to drop the first consonant mm -hmm. right say black coffee what do you want? Well, I would like the black coffee, black coffee, black coffee. Yeah. Another is letter D and letter D. When you have T and D, it's very common with questions we do. What? For example, this question, what? We eliminate the T, the consonant, and we say, what do you do? What? What do you do? What do you do? What do you like? What do you like? What do you like to do in your free time? What are you what do you do in the morning? What do you study? And the last one is what I was telling you the last time, I guess. Consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. So we put the, the sounds together, like we don't say not at all, not at all. We say not at all. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Good. Tip number two, squeeze words. There is one word very common that is comfortable or comfortable. In some words, we need to pay attention to the pronunciation and understand that some uh, like words can be omitted, right? Omitted, like in this case. So we say conf, no O, no R. Comfortable, comfortable. Interesting or interesting becomes intre. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Every becomes every. Every, no E. You don't pronounce the E. Okay, and the last tip, tip number three, it says, we, in some words, we squeeze letters. We join letters, for example, TR, the letter, the letters TR become ch, ch. For example, con tree, con, we don't say country, the country, I like to visit, I would like to visit other country. I would like to visit other country. The letter, another example, tree, tree. 
would like mango mango tree. We don't say mango tree, but we say mango tree. The dr, or for example, true. We don't say true, true or false, true or false. We don't say true or false. We say true, true or false, true or false. Dr hundred. Dr is equal to jr. Right? Hundred, 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 hundred. And when you have questions like, do you? No, say, do you? Do you? Do you? Do you like? Do you? Do you like? The you is not you, but you. You. Did you? Did you take a shower in the morning? Did you have lunch? Did you rest yesterday? Did you do your homework? Did you? Did you? Let's see if we have practice. Let's see if we have practice of this activity. This sounds so good. What are you hear? Um, let's see if we have practice with this lesson. No, we don't have like a quiz most of the time. We have like a quiz here. Okay, good. Let's see. Let's continue with our beautiful, amazing, wonderful. Okay. Yesterday, we were uh, talking about will. Do you remember? Yes. Will, will. Okay, excellent. Teacher, una Hello. Este, ayer, como yo solo estuve de oyente, no, no entendí muy bien la, um, la, la tarea. Yo agarré ah. dos preguntas y contesté dos, pero no sé si eso era. No sé yes. si así era. Yes, ah. that's it, that's it. Very ah, good. Okay. Bueno, no sé si así está bien como las contesté también. <laughs> no problem. We're, we're going to check it in some minutes. Okay. Uh, es que una consulta no me quedó claro cómo se pronuncia la country tree. Ahí sí no la entendí. Country. Ah, country. okay. No problem. No problem. Cuando tenemos una palabra, cuando está la letra, las letras unidas, la T y la R, esas sí. se convierten como una Ch y una R. For example, for example, árbol in English, tree. Tree. No sé, uno puede decir tree, porque así lo dice en español, tree. Y está That's bien, aunque right. tree, pero es más natural nativo. O las personas que nativas del idioma no lo dicen tan, tan literal, tree. Okay. Sino que esa TR es igual a che. Eres. Ajá, primero la, el sonido de che y después la R. Y se escucha, se va a escuchar tree. 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 Uh -huh. Tree. 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 Excelente. Uh -huh. Pero como che no es tree. Con SH. Como, uh -huh. como shampoo, no, sino que tree. Tree. Como el chucho. Como el chucho. De una pa similar. Chongo. Mm. No, but no, no, in Spanish, no, right? Tree. Oh, no, no. Pero, ah, la che de eso, la che de, de, de champion. Champion, champion, Fati. <risa> Dicho, ayer, Ajá. ayer vi un video de eso, fíjese qué coincidencia. Excelente, very good. Ayer estaba very viendo good. un video de esas este, palabras. ¿sí? The words, very good. Uh -huh. very good. Entonces, cada vez que veamos, como dice Sandrita, la tere, una palabra con tere, true, que es verdad o mentira. Uh -huh. so, ya no se dice true, true sino que 
True. 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 Mm -hmm. True. Another example. Training. Training. Ya no dice training, okay. sino que training. Tra training. 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 For example, you don't say trumpet. 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 So ya, ya le pone a esa TR. Trumpet. 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 Yes. Trumpet. Very good. You got it? I got it. Okay, Very good. Very good. Thank you. Okay, no problem. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let me see. So let's check it out, guys. The, the topic that we were studying yesterday. Will, may, and might. Okay, and let's check the homework. Okay. <laughs> And thank you for the ones that were like like Sandrita said, that were mm -hmm. listeners. And okay, and and you did the homework. That's it. That is the idea. Mm -hmm. That even though you were listeners, you practiced, you investigated, and you did the homework. That's it. That's it. Let me see. Very good. So let me show you right now the homework. Okay. Very good. Look. Do you think uh, your best friend will always be your friend? Do you think your parents will ever move to another country? Do you think all your friends will have children? Okay, I need five volunteers. Five <laughs> volunteers. <laughs> excellent. Sandrita, <laughs> Ulises, Stephanie, excellent volunteers. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let's see. Oh, we're going to start collaboration. Give me one second. I'm going to start the app. This internet is very low. Okay, uh, I wanted to show you the timer, but I guess. At least you gotta be talking one minute, my friends, okay? <laughs> one minute, Rita. Let's see, one minute. One, two, three, go. Me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think, the, do you think your best friends will always be your friends? Well, I think we will always friends because we have now each the other since we were children, but she lives in other country and are your friends in friendship is difficult. I think that despite the dancing distance our friendship, she told me about her family, work, children, and her neighbors. We have a very beautiful friendship and we have a support each other for years. I think that she and Will never stop being friends because we know each other and we each other all, time, all the time. I only have a one best friend 
I am very complicated with people and I think that is why I um, don't have friends. But the flat that I have are very special for me. Uh, the second is, do you think all your friends will have children? Well, my friends don't want to have children because they are still studying and want to have their house first. I think that um, in time they will have a children, but at the moment they do not have time. They dedicated um, themselves to work and studying. They are happy at the moment and they definitely don't want children. Maybe in the future, in the, the play, have a them. It's only. <laughs> Great job, great job, Sandrita. Very Thank nice, you. very nice. Okay. <laughs> really good, really good. Claps. Claps, please. <laughs> reactions, reactions. Very good. Next, Ulysses attack. Okay. Do you think your best friend will always be your friend? Uh, my answer is, I don't think so. Because when grow in everybody take your own life, usually each other may get married and move it to different place. I mean, city or town. In the communication, in the relationship, may be might be different like when our child child the time in distance may change each life mm -hmm. the friend the friendship may be different was be on the childhood only the memories may still remaining don't teacher Excellent, mister. Very good. I liked it. I liked it. Uh -huh. Maybe different like when you are children. Excellent. When you are children. Or the when second, you or in your childhood, right? Excellent. The second one? Uh -huh. The second one, the teacher will be a millionaire someday. <laughs> I live that. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, I, I don't get the answer. Yes, of course, because there is no answer. How how in your in your mind do you have the idea that a teacher, you know, maybe uh -huh. a doctor, a, a pilot, an engineer, a lawyer, but a teacher. Uh, uh, <laughs> only for for love. We work for love. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Maybe Ulysses people from Chalate is a different story. Uh, they have thousands and thousands of 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 what portions, big big portions of lands, huge portions of land, businesses, companies. People from Chalate, <laughs> like they, they live in a different reality. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> Excellent, Ulysses. No more questions. No more. You're not gonna choose another question there. No. Sorry, teacher. No more. Excellent, brother. Thank you for sharing. Caro, Stephanie, Caro Ramirez de Martir. <laughs> de okay. Martir. Yes. Back. Um. My question is, do you think your best friends will always be your friends? I think that she will always, always be my friends because our friendship has been for many. It has been 16 years of friendship we were schoolmates in high school since 20 
zero nine. When we graduate, we continue to maintain our friendship. We go out for walks to eat together or with our families. I visit, visit her house or she comes to mine. We have constant communication, calls or messages. And that's why I think she will be my friend forever. Until we are all ladies. Hey, okay, great, Caroline. Very good. Any other questions you. you would like to talk about? Solo eso. <laughs> okay, just that. Very good. Thank you. Thank nice you. friendship. Nice. Daniela, Daniela, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for sharing, Daniela. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Uh, my question is, do you think your best friend will always be your friend? Um, I think my friend and I will be friends until we are old. Because I know here since 2020 in the school and now we are always together. But this is my toe and I don't know here toe. She made toe similar to me. Uh, and... I only know that I love her here and I want to spend many moments with her. Uh, her friendship is very important to me. She's very important to me. Okay. Excellent. And I know that's my thought. Ese es mi pensamiento. You said, right? Yes, teacher. And then you said, and I know that it's her thought too. You can say, and I know that it's her thought too. Uh, because if you say she thought the same way, what was what was the sentence you said? She thought the same way. What was the sentence? Uh, she may talk similar. She may, ah, in that case, it is better to use think uh, she may think similar uh -huh. excellent that is that is my thought this is my pensament but i i think that she, or i believe she may think similar or i know she may think similar excellent good job good job you're welcome okay let's go to groups please and in groups only five minutes, Ex similar to Daniela, Sandra, Stephanie, Ulysses, give your, present your homework. Okay, answer the question that you chose. Five minutes, let's see, lights, camera, action, go.
Okay, okay, guys, let's move quickly here. It says, I'll make it this bigger. Listen, what does Olivia offer to do? How about Jake? Pay attention. Page 122. Lesson C. I'll drive. One. Conversation strategy. Making offers and promises. B. Listen. What does Olivia offer to do? How about Jake? I'm really looking forward to the barbecue this weekend. Me too. I'll get some steaks if you like. Okay, that sounds good. And I'll bring some salad and stuff. Will you bring some chairs? Oh, and remind me to bring my beach umbrella. All right. And I won't forget the drinks this time either. Good. Uh, do you want me to drive? No, I'll drive. You can't afford any more speeding tickets. Okay, then make sure you go to the gas station before you pick me up. We don't want to run out of gas again. All right, I will. But hey, we only ran out of gas that one time. Page 122. Lesson C. I'll drive. 1. Conversation strategy. Making offers and promises. B. Listen. What does Olivia offer to do? How about Jake? I'm really looking forward to the barbecue this weekend. Me too. I'll get some steaks if you like. Okay, that sounds good. And I'll bring some salad and stuff. Will you bring some chairs? Oh, and remind me to bring my beach umbrella. All right. And I won't forget the drinks this time either. Good. Uh, do you want me to drive? No, I'll drive. You can't afford any more speeding tickets. Okay, then make sure you go to the gas station before you pick me up. We don't want to run out of gas again. All right, I will. But hey, we only ran out of gas that one time. It says, two volunteers, please. For real. Thank you, Ruth. And Emma, okay. Ruth, it's Olivia. Emma is Jake. One, two, three, action. I'm really looking forward to the barbecue this weekend. Me too. I'll get some sticks if you like. Okay, that sounds good. And I'll bring some salad and stuff. Will you bring some chairs? Oh, and remind me to bring me beach umbrella. All right. And I won't forget the drinks this time either. Good. Um, do you want to meet drive? No, I'll drive. You can't afford any more spending tickets. Okay. Then make sure you go to the gas station. Before you pick me up, we don't want to run out of gas again. All right, I will. But hey, we only ran out of gas that one time. <laughs> Excellent. Only one time they ran out of gas. Oh, goodness. Okay, because of the time, let me see. Let's practice this conversation in groups three minutes i copy the conversation and you practice in groups only three minutes guys let's see
Nature's Umbrella. All right. Uh, I won't forget this drink this time either. Good. Uh, do you want me to drive? No, I'll drive. You can afford any more speeding ticket. Okay, then make sure you go to the gas station before you pick me up. We don't want to run out for gas again. <gasps> All right, I will, but hey, we only run out of gas that one time. ¿Algún otro? Carlos. No está Carlitos. Quizás no está. My best friend no está. <laughs> ok. Ahora yo soy Olivia, estoy Jake. Ok. I am really looking forward for the barbecue this weekend. Me too. I got some steaks if you like. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, I bring some salad and stuff. Will you bring some chair? Oh, can remind me to be my beach umbrella. All right, and I won't forget the drinks this time either. Good. Ooh, do you want me to drive? No, I drive. You can afford any more speeding tickets. Okay. Then make sure you go to the gas station before you pick it pick me up. We don't want to run out of gas again. All right, I will. But hey, we only run out gas that one time. Beautiful. Bueno, ya pasamos. Quiero ver. Hasta nos pasamos ya. Sí, ya. Yeah. <laughs> Eran tres minutos, ya va por el cinco. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. Sí. sí. Okay, welcome, Normita. Ready for the action? Yes, teacher, thank you. Solo una pregunta. Ajá. Yo, yo estaba en el celular, pero después me conecté a la computadora. ¿Me va a afectar en mi tiempo? No, porque como se mantiene el mismo nombre, ¿verdad? Mm, no, okay. no hay problema. No hay problema. Uh -huh. Excelente. Some friends... Are planning a hiking trip for Saturday. For each common, find and complete an offer or a promise with I'll or I won't. Let me see. Let me see just this thing here. For example, how are we going to get there? The answer is B. I can borrow my cat, my parents' car. I'll, or I will. I'll drive. Let's complete this exercise in groups of three students, not in groups of five or, or six. No, only three people. Three minutes. No, three minutes. No, five minutes, please. Lights, camera, action.
You can see it there, screen. Hello, Janskin. Ah, hello, pensé que estaba hablando y tenía el micrófono. <laughs> este, you can see the ice cream. Yes, I can. Okay, um, okay the second. Uh -huh, the do, second. Do we have to yes. leave early? I might oversleep. Yeah, I can. What and do we have? Pero me las leo todas y ya doy mi opinión. How full should we take? La tres creo que es la es la D. What food should we take? Number D. Just some sandwich. I make them. Pero ya quiere completar eso. Sería, ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí sería I'll. Permítame que el lápiz no lo encuentre. Ok. No, fíjense que no sé, ayer, ayer me aparecía y el lápiz, pero no, no, no lo ve. Solo nosotros dos estamos, ¿verdad? No, sí, no le aparece a un lado, a, la, a su izquierda. El de la, el de la, el de Zoom. Permítame un poco. No sé qué cosa. No, no. No lo hay. Permítame. Mira el lápiz con que se escribe, no lo hay en esta pancita de acá, se pone, pero como está eso ahí, no, 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 ahora sí. Sí. Ya lo hallé, compañera. Ok. Este, la número tres me dijo que era qué literal. Sí. Sí. O sea, ¿qué piensa? Yo digo que sí. Porque dice, what food should we take? Should we take? Uh -huh. Just some sandwich? I'll make them. Sería uh -huh. I'll. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí sería la D, ¿verdad? Sí, number three, D. Mm -hmm. Number three. Mm -hmm. Esa es la D, es la four, la que está apuntando. La ah, tres es la D. Ajá. Pero la dos todavía no sé. No me quedo horrible la letra. Ay, no me... importa. <risa> Más o menos. <risa> Ay, Dios mío. Ok. Ok, la four, la cuatro es number, es la G. La G. Uh -huh. Yeah, A y sería I'll buy some bottles of water later. ¿Dónde está la? La cuatro es la G. A ver, no. 
como un corredor anda estimado ahorita. Y la cinco, ¿Will you remember to me, Yes. Este, la número cuatro, ¿cuál era? Eh, G. La última. Yeah. Okay. I'll buy some bottles of water. Y la número cinco. Would you remember to bring your GPS? Um, pero... Eh, sería, sure, I won't forget. I'll bring a camera too. Ajá, este, la... Sería la F. Ajá, la F. Uh -huh. Number six, ¿verdad? No. Ah, no, la Bye. Uh -huh. El número C sería probably la y creo que sería la probably I'll look up the forecast. Sí, la e, la e. En la D, do we have a treatment? Sería no, we don't. I get one. Letter C, then. Mm -hmm. Letter C. Y la este, dos la, sería la, dos, no. la, sería la A. A, don't worry. I call you. Letter A. Este, y aquí no se completaría eh, los literales. Se supone También, que ¿verdad? sí. Uh -huh. La primera es I'll. Vaya, este. Ay, pero aquí para contractarlo si sí no voy a poder, digo yo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, como no sé qué. Ajá. Cinco más o menos. <risa> 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 el, el letter C Ese sería también I'll no we don't no. I'll get one que va a agarrar uno ahí le va a entender uh -huh. estos son one sandwich I'll I make them Lo mismo aquí, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, sería. Vale. Probably. Uh -huh. I look. ¿Usted qué opina? <ríe> no me va a equivocar. Sí, es lo mismo. Ok. Este, uh. Allí sí sería sure. Espérame, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? F. La F. La F. Se, we'll Le pusimos a la número 5. Sure. Uh -huh. Sería I want. Yeah. I want. Ahí le va a costar escribir. I want. I want. Este. ¿Cuál? Así, cuál? Como, así como está arriba. Ah, el, el want. Uh -huh. Doble, ¿verdad? No, sería. Ah, ah. Lea la, donde dice son friends. Donde están las indicaciones, está si vamos a usar I o I want. Sería el que está ahí. No sé si ya lo ah, vio. Sí, sí, aquí está. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, ahorita. 
Ahí está. Yeah, <ríe> uh -huh. ¿Y cuál sería? Y, y ella, después de forget es I'll. Vale. Y la última también es I'll. Vale. Vaya. <ríe> No, esta se quedó más mal que todo. Okay, let's see. Number two, do we have to leave early? I might oversleep. What is the answer? A. 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 Don't worry. Don't worry. I call you. Excellent. Do we have to leave early? I'm sorry. What food should we take? Some Just some sandwich. Some sandwich. Letter D. Some sandwiches. I'll make that. Uh, how, how about something to drink too? G. Yeah. G. 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 Letter G. Yeah. Letter G. I buy yeah. some bottles. Yeah. I buy some bottles. I buy some bottles of white lady. Excellent. I will buy. Very good. Will you remember to bring your GPS? No, we don't. No, we don't, don't get wrong. Sure, yeah. I won't forget. F. I'll bring a camera too. Should we check the weather before we go? Probably. Probably. Look the forecast. Probably. Probably. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll look. I look at the forecast. Very good. And the last one. Look at the forecast. Excellent. Do we have a trail map? No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. I'll get I'll one. get one. Excellent. C. Very good. Now, exercise number two. Pay attention. A strategy plus. All right. Okay. You can use all right or okay when you agree to something. For example. Remind me to bring my beach umbrella. Okay, all right. You can use okay, all right, when you want to ask, or not ask, but when you want to agree about something. For example, remind me that tomorrow we have to uh, create an activity so you can practice the new topic. Okay, teacher, all right. All right. right. Very good. Now, look at this activity. It says, Respond to the questions with all right or okay and make an offer with I'll. Let's do it together. Could you help me with my computer? I think it has a virus. One volunteer for number one. Okay. Thank you, Elisa. Okay. I'll. I'll what, is right. your, what is your offer? What is your offer? For example, I will you, help you. I'll I'll help you. I'll help you. Help Very you. good. You. Number two, three, and four, please individually in this moment. One minute. One minute individually. Think. No microphones. Think. 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 One minute, only one minute. Very good.
Okay, good. Number two, volunteer for number two. I have a favor to ask. Can you give me a ride to the class tomorrow? Me, teacher. Excellent, Norma. All right. I can give you, I can give you a ride to class tomorrow. Excellent. It's okay. But when you use I'll, not necessarily can. Change uh, it. You can say, all right, I'll give, give you, you a ride to class tomorrow. Excellent. Three. Volunteer for number three. Ah, only Normita in the class. And the others. Thank you, Jose. Excellent, Jose. Jose, in these last classes, sometimes he's not participating. Jose, what's going on, Jose? Que fíjese que me ha dado problemas la laptop y me está tocado conectarme del teléfono y se me complica un poco más. Ah, okay, no problem. I understand. Good lie. Good lie. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I might get Mariano. a new ah? I might uh -huh. get a new Mariano. tablet this weekend. I forgive can you, you Jose. Can you help me choose one? Go with your answer, Jose. Okay, I'll choose one for you. Excellent, brother. Jose, choose a victim. Ulises. Ulises and then Sandrita. Or Carla. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Ulises, I'm going to paint my apartment next weekend. Could you All help right. me? All right. Okay. I'll I get you. Okay, good. Uh -huh, Carlita? Excellent, Ulises. All right, I will help you. Carlita, you were saying something? No, did you? Tell me, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Ulises finished. It was good. Now you, uh -huh. participate, Carlita. Participate. Uh -huh. No. I... <laughs> ah. No? Okay. Ay, Dios mío. Sandrit. Okay, I help you to paint. I'll help you to paint. Very good. Listening strategy. Akum. Teacher. Uh huh. Finish. What happened with me? <laughs> no, you were participating, and then you didn't say anything. Uh huh. All right. Yes, I'll... but I, I think I think allow allow. <laughs> Tell me, please repeat it, please say it again. All right. All right. I will help you to paint. Excellent. Job. Yeah, <laughs> the next weekend. Listen to Jack and Helen's conversation. What kind of event are they planning? What is the event? Um, wedding, a graduation, a, con a confirmation party, a <laughs> baptism, baptism. Where will it take place and when? Pay attention, please. Answer the questions. Bar on the pool. <laughs> Page 123. Three. Listening and strategies. I'll do it. A and B. Listen to Jack and Helen's conversation. Jack, you know Dad's going to retire next month? Yeah. Well... Mom's not planning a party for him. I spoke to her yesterday, and she says she's kind of busy right now, so I thought maybe we could organize it. Okay. So I said to Mom, we'll do it. I mean, we'll organize it. Yeah. But Mom says she'll pay for everything. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. We can help. So is it going to be a surprise party? No, it's just going to be at their house, so we can't keep it a secret, really. So, any ideas? I mean, 
I don't think we can cook a big dinner or anything. There'll be a lot of people. Okay. Well, let's have a barbecue. I'll do it. Dad loves steak, and we can cook some chicken, too. I can do the shopping for all that. Well, all right. I guess. I mean, remember the barbecue we had for Mom's birthday? When you burned all the chicken? It wasn't that bad. Anyway, I promise I won't burn it this time. Okay, and I'll make potato salad and things like that. All right, but we need to know how many people will be there. Like, who are we going to invite exactly? Oh, Mom says she'll give us a guest list. She said it's mainly family, neighbors, and a few co-workers, about 40 people. 40 people? Yeah. Maybe we could send out the invitations online. You know, make a fancy invitation on a website and then just email it. Do we have all the email addresses? No, Mom says she'll get those for us, too. Okay, so what are we going to put in the invitation? Oh, something like, you're invited to a retirement party for Adam Johnson. And then just add Mom and Dad's address and send them. Easy. So when is it going to be? I mean, when's Dad's last day at work? Um, June 20th. That's on a Friday. Mom thinks Sunday afternoon's a good time, though, probably around 3. So Sunday, June 22nd, at what time? At 3. You know, maybe you should do the invitations. So far, you're just making potato salad, and I'm doing all the shopping and cooking. Oh, all right. I'll send out the invitations. Oh, good. Thanks. Just remember not to put the wrong date, like you did for your party. All right. I promise I won't do that again. Okay, now, do you think you'll have time to find a gift for Dad? Not really. And I'm not good at buying gifts. All right. I'll buy a gift and a card. Okay. So I guess that's it. Anything else? Excellent job. What kind of event are they planning? Buy a gift and a card. Excellent. They are planning what? Is it a barbecue? Uh, uh huh. Retirement party. Retirement party. Very good. They are planning a retirement party for their father. It's going to be, uh huh. Okay, good. When will it take place? Where? I'm oh, sorry. Where? In the beach? In the beach. In the house. In the house. Which house? The Ellen house. Okay. And when? When is it going to be? In June 20. June 20? At 3 o'clock. Excellent. June 22nd at 3. So it's a retirement party. It is going to be at their parents' house. And yes. it's going to be June 22nd at 3. Very good. Good listening. Good listening. Let's continue one more time. Complete these ideas from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Put the letters in the correct sentence, in the correct order. One is extra. One is extra. Okay. Their mother promises she'll, and Jack says he'll, he says he won't. Helen says she'll, she won't. Helen will also. One, two, three. Page 123. Three. Listening and strategies. I'll do it. A and B. Listen to Jack and Helen's conversation. Jack, you know Dad's going to retire next month? Yeah. 
Well, mom's not planning a party for him. I spoke to her yesterday, and she says she's kind of busy right now, so I thought maybe we could organize it. Okay. So I said to mom, we'll do it. I mean, we'll organize it. Yeah. But mom says she'll pay for everything. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. We can help. So is it going to be a surprise party? No, it's just going to be at their house, so we can't keep it a secret, really. So, any ideas? I mean, I don't think we can cook a big dinner or anything. There'll be a lot of people. Okay, well, let's have a barbecue. I'll do it. Dad loves steak, and we can cook some chicken, too. I can do the shopping for all that. Well, all right, I guess. I mean, remember the barbecue we had for mom's birthday when you burned all the chicken? It wasn't that bad. Anyway, I promise I won't burn it this time. Okay, and I'll make potato salad and things like that. All right, but we need to know how many people will be there. Like, who are we going to invite exactly? Oh, mom says she'll give us a guest list. She said it's mainly family, neighbors, and a few co-workers, about 40 people. 40 people? Yeah. Maybe we could send out the invitations online. You know, make a fancy invitation on a website and then just email it. Do we have all the email addresses? No, Mom says she'll get those for us, too. Okay, so what are we going to put in the invitation? Oh, something like... You're invited to a retirement party for Adam Johnson. And then just add mom and dad's address and send them. Easy. So when is it going to be? I mean, when's dad's last day at work? Um, June 20th. That's on a Friday. Mom thinks Sunday afternoon's a good time, though. Probably around 3. So Sunday, June 22nd, at what time? At 3. You know... Maybe you should do the invitations. So far, you're just making potato salad, and I'm doing all the shopping and cooking. Oh, all right. I'll send out the invitations. Oh, good. Thanks. Just remember not to put the wrong date, like you did for your party. All right. I promise I won't do that again. Okay, now, do you think you'll have time to find a gift for Dad? Not really, and I'm not good at buying gifts. All right, I'll buy a gift and a card. Okay, so I guess that's it. Anything else? Okay, great. Let's check. It says, their mother promises she'll... Huh? Send a guest list. She'll send a guest list, letter C, and pay for the everything. Pay for everything. Let's see. C and H. Excellent. C and H. Jack says he'll letter. Go shop and do the cooking. Go shop and do the cooking. Mm -hmm. Shop and what else? He says he wants to want burn the food. Burn the food. food. So G and A. In A. Excellent. G and A. And the last one, Ellen says she'll send invitation online. Letter D and she won't, she won't get the date wrong. Get the date wrong. But she will also buy a gift and a car. Buy a gift and a car. Good job. So number one is D. I'm sorry. Uh, D E and B. Yes, excellent. Buy a gift and a car. Get the wrong date and 
send the invitations online. Okay. Good job. Perfect. Tomorrow, we are going to study comparative and superlatives. But before jumping on that topic, tomorrow you are going to create in the class a conversation similar to this. Okay, similar. Let me see. I'm gonna take a photo. One, two, three. They're good, excellent. Bye bye, take care, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. Take care.